Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So because the prom season is coming up, I thought I would do a prom glitter makeup look for you guys. Now, obviously I know a lot of you wear lots of different colours for your prom, but I thought I would just focus on keeping the makeup look quite simple, but adding in a bit of glitter and then just a couple of little face gems because I don't think any of you will go all out for prom like I probably would if I had a prom now. So I just wanted to keep it simple and just a look that you guys can actually create. I don't want to do a video that you guys struggle creating. You know, I wanted to make it easy for you. So here it goes. I am going to start with my eye makeup now I've already done my base and my brows and I've already put a bit of highlighter on but I'll add more to it later on um, obviously base I think if you're going to a prom or anything you're probably going to want to do your own base how you like it so that's why I've already got my base on and yeah let's get to it so I'm starting off with adding in a little bit of a contour just on just in the crease of my eye and I've got a Bobbi Brown palette for that. It's called the Nectar and Nude Eye Palette. I don't know if they do it anymore. My friend got it for me a while back and I'm going to be using this sort of brownie light shade here and all I'm going to do with the fluffy brush is just sort of darken that crease. It just kind of gives my eye a little bit of a shape. So yeah, like so. So um, what are you guys wearing to your proms? If you've got proms or do you have brothers and sisters going to proms? I remember when I went to prom, but God, it was years ago. And um, I wore my bridesmaid's dress from when my mum and my stepdad got married. It was like a dark burgundy colour. Back then though I had brown hair so it kind of went a bit more with my... I was kind of quite normal back then. Not very adventurous. Um, right, so that's done. Now I'm going to move on to this Urban Decay After Dark palette. Frigging love this. It's got amazing metallic eyeshadows in. So I'm going to be taking the shade Ulta, which is the lightest shade in the kit. And I'm going to be applying that to the whole of my lid. So before I apply the eyeshadow, I'm going to be applying this white sort of cream from Obsessive Compulsive, Compulsive Cosmetics, can't say it. It's their lip balm gel, but you can use it on the eye. So I'm going to apply that first, just because it really, really helps the metallic eyeshadow to stick. So I'm just going to be patting that onto my lid, like so. Yeah, so my prom was at a golf club. It wasn't really that great, to be honest. I didn't have a date. Just went with my girls, which was quite cute. You don't need a date to go to prom these days. You can go with your friends. Have such a good time anyway, so you don't need a boy. Right, back to this shade, Alter. Just going to dab that over the white. I find that this lip balm duo really just helps the eyeshadow to stick and also it just makes it pop as well as you can see so just dabbing that on like that don't worry if it's a bit messy I'm going to blend it out afterwards are any of you wearing a mermaid dress oh my god my sister for her prom literally I'm not even joking has got this frigging amazing blue mermaid sequin prom dress it's unreal I was actually looking at it like oh my god that could be my wedding dress although it's quite tacky because it's like proper aqua um but it's like fully sequined with like a fish towel so cute right and I'm going to go back with my fluffy brush I'm going to take this off duty shade from the Urban Decay palette and I'm just going to go into my crease again and sort of blend in with the 
lighter gold shade as you can see it's really sort of darkening the crease and then just blend upwards like so I'm not that great at blending guys sorry I'm not a pro just like to do makeup I love 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 this palette okay so I'm just gonna apply it underneath my eye as well I just like to darken just the outer edge just personally like it just find it just gives my eye a bit of shape do you not think cool so after this move on fabulous oh it's in my eyes right i'm gonna go in with the tattoo liner from kat von d my favorite liquid liner ever and i'm gonna just start by doing a feline flick i might not be able to talk here guys sorry need to keep so still so I always start in the center and work my way out then when I get to the outer bit I'm just gonna flick it upwards like so Sometimes I just know it goes right. That'll do. Right, and then I'm going to do the other one. I'm kind of just making this up as I go along, guys. I sort of planned what I wanted to sort of do. But I always forget stuff when I'm on camera. Chatting away. Well, like you do like 10 million things at once. Right, nearly finished. This is running out and it's so sad because I love it so much. I have to get another one. Okay, so that is the flicks done. Then I'm going to be taking this Makeup Forever um, eyeshadow and it is black. For the poppiers. I don't know how to say it. Um, and I'm just going to take a thin brush. This is from the this is actually from the Urban Decay palette. Um, and I'm going to be sort of taking the, that line just up here so following the crease from the flip like so. To the other side. I'm going to neaten it up in a minute with a liner. Which is because I kind of wanted it blended. Ooh, what's that? It just fell off my eye. Okay. Now I'm going to go back in with a liner. Just 
just falling out, guys. completely do a cut crease thing, I just wanted to do that corner bit like that. I don't even know if it looks good. But I saw something on Pinterest like it, I thought it was quite cute. Okay. So, I'm just going to quickly blend the line out with the original brush I did the eyeshadow with like so so when you look down like that that's what it looks like cool now on to the glitter which is my favorite part oh my god all this makeup's going everywhere right it is from Stila um it is the magnificent metals glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow Yard, and I'm going to be dabbing this over the top of the gold to add some sparkle to my eye. Don't know why I just did a weird voice, but I did. Oh my god, it's so cute! I love it. I've never used this before, I've used it on my hand, I just did this out like laying over the eyeshadow to see if it would work and it looked cute so I'm just trying to keep it within the line there cool now the other eye I can hear Luna doing something and I don't know what she's doing because I'm not watching her she's probably being naughty she's doing this well funny thing at the moment where she like she'll sit up like really high spin like move a little bit, go up really high, shuffle. She does it in a circle, it's so freaking odd. I don't know if you saw it the other day on my Instagram stories. It's just so crazy. Oh, I need to get rid of this for accent now. It's just a bit odd. I've done a chatty video like this before. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you prefer me speeding it up? Are you bored of my voice? Tell me. Okay. I think that'll do. Cute! Ooh. Right. Oh my god, mascara. I didn't even get a mascara out. Oh, I'll use this one here. No, 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 actually, it won't go away. I'll use. No, okay, well. So now I'm going to take the Mega Volume Miss Baby Roll mascara. Just to add my. Just to add some volume to my lashes. You can add false lashes on if you want. Oh, they never really stay on me. I don't really need them. My lashes are quite long anyway, I'm quite lucky. But sometimes these sorts of eye looks do look better with false lashes. I'm losing some of my lashes as well. It's so sad. Oh god, I look awful at the moment. That's the thing, because I've got long lashes. I know it, you were probably thinking, shut up, what are you saying? I'd kill for the long lashes. But they do get annoying. When you lose some, they get so gappy. And because they're so obvious, because they're so long, you can tell. Luna, what are you doing? Are you not being naughty? Cool. So, you might have seen me do this trick before. It's not really a trick. But, where I get tweezers and I tweezer my lashes. Ooh, what is on it? Um, together. Just because it makes them less clumpy. And also, there's any gaps, I can fill them in. Shh. 
She's chewing something in my bedroom. I'll have to check on her in a sec. Cute. And then I'll do the same to this one. So I'll actually just sort of use the tweezers to push up in between the lashes to break them apart if some of them are sort of stuck together or and to just pinch some together like so then I'm just going to add um, some mascara just to the corner at the bottom just very lightly like so then I'm going to be taking the Magnify Eyes Rimmel um, Long Lasting Coal Eye Shadow Liner thing I'm going to take the pencil end and I'm just going to apply it to my waterline just to darken my eyes a bit more like so now I'm going to take my favourite highlight palette it's from Huda Beauty it's a 3D one it's unreal so I am going to add a little bit more highlight so I'm going to take the shade Capri and I'm just going to sort of just dab this one's quite a matte one it doesn't really have much of a shimmer but I like to dab it on my forehead just above my lip and my chin and then I'll just dab it over the cheeks and then I'm going to go in with the highlight and just add more of a pop of colour to my cheeks like so you can't have too much highlight guys it can have too much on my nose like so then I'm going to take that gold shade called Azores and just sweep it under my cheekbone and then I don't fancy adding the Ibiza shade so I'm just going to leave that there like that so this is a look so far now I want to add um, a little bit of a shimmer on the inner corners of my eyes so I'm going to be taking the MUA shimmer highlight in peach diamond and I'm going to take the fluffy brush again that I used at the beginning and I'm just going to look to the left and just apply that in the corner. Now I'm using this colour because I'm doing a sort of peachy nude lip so I just thought it would sort of match. Love, love, love this. You can use Sonia Cheeks as well using on my eyes to highlight it's just really really lovely it's just nice because it's just a bit different and then I'm also going to add it just underneath my brow bone in the corner like so now I'm going to go back in with the Stila metallic glitter eyeliner just because I forgot to do something I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the corners of my brows just because I thought it'd be quite cute just to add a bit of a sparkle so literally just on the very tips Side. Luna, what are you doing? So I'm just going to use my finger to just sort of ombre it a little bit because I don't want it to be I want it to be more heavier at the tip here, and then just little sparkles. Cute. And then I've got some gold gems that I'm just going to pop. Oh, no, I've just lost it. 
God, I hate that. These little gems are so hard to work with. Oh my God, I've lost it again. It's all right, guys. I've still got loads left. I'm just going to pop it. Oh no, that one's not very really good. Underneath my eye here. If I can, I'm going to have to use tweezers, I think. That one might be a bit big actually, I'm going to go for a smaller one. Just want a cute little gem. Oh my god, this is so hard. <gasps> okay, oh no, where did it go? There we go, I got it, got it. Okay. Oh my god, it's so tricky. Oh my god, it's so hard. Alright, let's do one, stick it on, there we go. Okay, I don't know if it's actually going to stay on though. Oh no. Let's use my finger instead. I sometimes just try and balance it on my finger and then stick it in. Once it's on the skin, just move it around. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to look up and press. Hopefully they'll stay on. Cute. And now for the final touch, which is a Kat Von D lipstick in Munika. Why has everything got a weird name today? So it's like a peachy shade. Really cute. Kind of matches my hair. I know most of you probably prefer to wear like a nudie lipstick, especially if your dress is coloured. Such a nice lipstick. I do like her uh, brushes and even like the skinniness of this is quite cute. Cool. So. We're nearly there. Nearly there. Let me check this out. See if I want to add anything else. Mm. No. I think that looks cute. What do you guys think? So I wanted to just keep it really simple um, but still add elements of the face gems, the little gems underneath the eyes and glitter because you know guys I freaking love glitter. Um, and yeah i'm loving this sparkly highlighted look um and now i'm all prom ready even though i'm not actually going to a prom and i don't have a dress to show you guys um but yeah really hope you enjoyed this chatty tutorial any comments or anything pop below anything about the products you want to know i'll pop all the links below as well so you can shop them all and yeah really hope you enjoyed this chatty prom glitter makeup tutorial i'll see you in my next video peace out